Hey guys, you are going to learn about multiple things in this video. First of all, I am going to teach you how do you write a data frame to an Excel file. Then I am going to teach you how can you write multiple data frame to multiple sheets in an Excel file. More important thing when you write something to an Excel file, what happens the existing sheets might get deleted. I am going to show you the technique using which you don't have to delete the existing sheets. You can keep the existing sheets as it is and write to an Excel file. So all of this, how this is done, I'm going to show you in this one video. So without skipping this video, let's continue till the end. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's start the very first one. So below this, let me insert a cell. Now, to write something on Excel file, you actually need a data frame to be created. In my previous couple of videos, I have shown you, this is just a data table, uh, this is just a dictionary and how do you convert a dictionary to a data frame. So this is just, I am converting this specific dictionary to a data frame. Okay. Now, once your data frame is created, let's learn how do you write it to an Excel file. That is the objective. Now for this, the data frame is created. Now let's write. So how do you write? First of all, you use the data frame variable. Data frame one dot. The method name is important. So here you are writing data frame to Excel, right? So the method is quite easy to remember. To Excel, right? Data frame to Excel. You are writing to Excel. Pretty simple way to remember. Okay. Now once you have the method written. Next thing what you need, you need to pass the file path. Where would you like to save it? Pretty simple, okay? So this is pretty simple, I mean sim pretty simple and easy language. Not a very difficult one. So I want to save the file here in my test file directory. So what I do, I simply copied that path, write R and then within double quote, I'm going to pass that path, okay? Here, we will give some name to the file. So what name you can keep any name you like. For example, I'm saying new XLSX. Simply keep that Excel file extension at the end. That's it. Now, if you look at my this one, I don't have a new XLX. Okay. This is how the data is currently. One, two, three, four files. If I run this. Okay. Let it run. So it has completed. If you go back, you can see author open by excel using that new xlx has been created the name that we have given for example i'm giving new one okay and i'm going to run it again so what would happen a new one got created the same same size file do you see so let us delete one of them okay let's keep any one so shift i'm going to delete this you can see both of them has the same data the dictionary data that we had given right this is the dictionary data a, B, C, D, E and this, this. So you can see the both the files have uh, collected the same data. Pretty simple one, right? So let us delete one of the file. Okay, the file has been deleted. Now let's proceed to our next concept. Pandas write to Excel with multiple sheets. Okay, so I want to write it to multiple sheets. Now if you see, the file that we have written has got only one sheet, sheet one. Okay. Now let's say I would like to give some name to the sheet while it writes. Can I, can I do it? For example, here there is a argument called sheet underscore name equals to, and I want to give it a name called employee. Let's say. Now if I'm going to run this, what is happening? The previous tab contains sheet one. Okay. This sheet will be completely delete, deleted. And a new tab will be created called employee with the same data. Okay, so it has completed. Now, if I refresh it by switching to a different file and coming back, let me try again. Okay, I think I had given new one. Okay, new one. So you can see the new one got created with the employee tab. Do you see? It has been created. Now let's say I would like to have uh, like to write to multiple sheets. So how do you do it? It's pretty simple. Insert a cell below. Okay. And anyways, we have created a data frame one. Let's create data frame two. 
so i have a similar data for companies a corp b corp and all that i've written i'm going to paste it so data frame 2 let me create it so when you run it the data frame 2 also got created so now we have got two data frames now what i want here i would like to write to excel but multiple sheets so i want to have a companies tab and i would also like to have an employee tab okay we are writing it to new one okay this one we are writing new one okay so how do i do it now for this you have to write a different you have to learn a different method that is called with pd pandas dot excel writer what is it excel writer this is a new topic that you are learning what i am doing with pandas dot excel writer and here you pass that file where would you like to write multiple things so this is my file okay copy this path and i'm going to pass the path here so what happened with pd excel writer so and so as you create an alias so i'm creating you can give any name i'm giving a writer so this has this is a new syntax that you are learning with pandas excel writer as writer so anytime you have to write to multiple sheets this this works like an engine which will help us to write to multiple sheets otherwise the normal behavior is that it will erase everything and only write it to a given sheet whatever sheet name you have given, you know provided so it is recreating it is recreating that excel file completely by omitting all the previous set of tabs or sheets that you had now this one is going to help help us so i'm going to show you okay still that there, there are certain problems i'm going to show you one by one now first thing what we will do we will write the data frame one okay data frame one so i am saying or let's create a new sheet called okay it's nothing doesn't matter i'll show you so here i am saying data frame one dot to excel the same method that we have learned on you know before this to excel and here I'm, i don't have to pass the file path because the writer understands where it has to write okay so you don't have to simply say then take the name of alias so i'm saying to excel writer and then only thing that you need to pass is the sheet name what is the sheet name that you would like to keep for the data frame one so the sheet name that i would like to keep probably employee okay done enter now let's write the same way df2 to pretty easy right pretty easy pretty easy options and within parenthesis writer and then let's come you know sheet name equals to and then give some name let's say companies okay done pretty simple code let me run it there is currently there is no new two so you will see what is happening run it now if you run it what is going to happen a new two excel sheet has been created now it has written in two different sheets you can see companies and there is also another tab called employee so we are getting what we need what if i am writing rewriting you know i am going to rerun this with employee one companies one am i going to get another two tabs with employee one employee two or it's going to erase it it is definitely going to erase this existing tabs for example if i run this completed up okay now if i go back and let me so look at this let me refresh okay you can see employee and, and companies have come and rest of it got deleted do you see the exist previous sheets got deleted now i'm going to teach you the important one without deleting other sheets okay the code remains exactly the same look at it now we have what employee one employee companies one right let me write employee two companies two that means when i'm running this it is going to have another two sheets so what is the technique the technique is very simple mode equals to append what is it mode equals to append which comes with excel writer okay now look at this what's going to happen if i'm going to run this okay i think complete it and look at this the current current state i'm going to refresh it and come back you can see employee one is there companies is there employee two is there companies so how many sheets i have total four sheets now without deleting so you learned how to write one excel file without deleting other sheets pretty important one very important one and this is the 
learning what is the argument we are using mode equals to a which means append okay all right guys so thank you so much for watching we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you which is going to really help you learn things in you know in a way that it will be useful for you in the future so continue to watch the series that i am creating every day and do give it a like in case these videos are helping you thank you guys let's meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye